My dear brothers and sisters, last Sunday we had the parable of the sower. This Sunday we have the parable of a man sowing the seeds and how the enemy comes and sows the darnel, the wheat and the weeds. Then we have the parable of the kingdom of God compared to the east and we see how Jesus compares the kingdom of God to a mustard seed. And next Sunday is about the hidden treasure in the field. So Jesus has been in a way giving us all the possible explanation about agriculture. And agriculture is very important. If there is no agriculture, my dear friends, you and I will be without any food. Therefore, Jesus, in a way, wants to tell you how important agriculture is and so important is these parables so that you and I can apply it in our lives and see how best this divine farmer who is ready to sow seeds in our lives even in spite of our weaknesses he still sows seeds in our life and that is why we come today to these three beautiful parables and if we look at these three beautiful parables i'm reminded of a interesting even when the wife went to the husband and said i'm going to the supermarket what do you want tell me i will buy and come and the husband said well i need at least about 10 kgs of peace i need another 10 kgs of leave me alone I need another two kgs of don't irritate me. I need another four kgs of feeling happy alone. I need another two kgs of relaxing. Then the wife looked at him. Okay, now I know what you want. Tell me directly, you want some wine and vodka. My dear brothers and sisters, our minds are like that. But even in spite of that, Jesus says that we have to coexist with the evil in this world. And that is the reason why the first parable is about the wheat and the weeds. And we know that the wheat is very important because we see in the first reading where from the book of wisdom, there is no other God beside you who cares is for all men to whom you shouldn't prove that you have not judged them unjustly. And therefore we have a God who cares for all men. He comes to look after the good and bad, the good and the evil. He is there to bless you. His hand is upon the good and the evil forever. But why should the evil exist? The evil exists because the evil one is more powerful today than you. It's not more powerful than God. The evil is more powerful than you. Therefore, God's hand is upon good people also so that they are protected. And to get rid of all the bad things, my dear friends, you and I may go to the extent of removing all the good things from our lives. Just like how nowadays people send so many WhatsApp messages. Wanted, unwanted, important, not important, serious warnings, not serious warnings, and you do not know which to delete, which not to delete. And since you are so caught up with it, sometimes you keep both and say, let them remain there in my phone. But when it starts hanging up, your phone hangs up, then immediately you start removing all the unwanted ones. But as you remove the unwanted ones, you also remove the imported one, and then you realize, oh my God, I removed something very important. I don't know how to get it back. I don't remember who sent me this. So you see, there is an important aspect when Jesus says, 
the wheat and the weed has to grow it is only at the harvest that you can separate the good and the bad it is only at the end of time that jesus will say all who are good come on the right side all who are condemned on my left therefore the separation takes place only in the last time the last uh, days that is why when we see in jesus is parable he wants you to live your righteous life among the sinners why because every saint has a past every sinner has a future as well therefore you and i should remember this always in our life every saint had a past every sinner like us will have a future and therefore we will coexist get purified every day the second parable is about the parable of the mustard seed which is the smallest seed and when it is sown and when it grows it is one of those biggest shrubs the birds come and take they make their nest there take rest therefore that small little seed that unimaginable one not visible to our eyes becomes so great and that is the reason why mighty things happen in small account and in a small way that is what we have to learn from this parable of the mustard seed great things happen great achievements takes place with a small and a humble beginning great things happen with a scratch i know many of you in the business or in many fields have started with a scratch and today if you are flourishing it is because you started in a small way in a very humble way and i would always relate it to our blessed mother who said how can this happen to me i am small i am nothing and when she did when she did say let your will be done now she is the queen of heaven and queen of earth you and i can also become great if we start in a humble way if we go down and begin from the scratch then you will know that it is really beautiful the third parable is about the east where a woman takes the east and puts it in three measures and then the dow rises in other words again jesus wants to tell you that he is expecting great things from you you are in this world today he doesn't have his hands and his legs he doesn't have a mouthpiece you are his mouthpiece you are his hands you are his legs and therefore he depends on you for his kingdom to grow and to rise therefore you and i are the east of the kingdom of god if you and i can experience that my dear friends you will say yes i had been doing so much for my parish for my family i am an important person in the society that is because you are an east for the kingdom of god there is so much you and i can do just like how the east is makes and it rises so also you and i can rise in doing great works responsible works that is why jesus in a way says dream big like the east that comes up so also dream big in your life don't be stagnant don't make your life miserable my kingdom should extend to the horizons therefore i want you to dream big and make it big in your life that is why jesus wants to tell us these beautiful parables jesus wants only a few dynamic people just like how we chose those disciples few dynamic men and today you and i are also those dynamic people and he wants how the east brings and changes the power of the flower so also the east in us should bring a transformation in our life and we should do works selflessly for the interest of the others for the interest of our community for the interest of our parish that is the reason why my dear friends in all these three parables 
Jesus wants to add only one important aspect. A strong prayer life goes a long way in preventing serious sin. Because we have to coexist with the sin. We have to coexist with the evil one. But a strong prayer life is what he demands. Therefore, we very clearly see in the Catechism of the Catholic Church, number 2744, which says, Pray every day in a small action of yours, and it will be paid off in a rich harvest. If the Catechism of the Catholic Church says that pray every day, this prayer is which will make you a real wheat, this prayer life will make you a mustard seed, this prayer life will also make you the East for the Kingdom of God. Amen.